Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you my 7 step process for networking so that you can find the right people, apply to any job that you want and secure whatever position that you want as an appointment setter. This is also going to work if you're a service provider and looking for potential clients or you're just looking to meet some awesome cool people on the internet without sounding awkward and weird and you know, everything that you don't want to sound like. All right, and I feel like you're gonna benefit a lot from this because there's really not a lot of content on like how to find jobs and how to reach out to people. So keep watching, let me know if you like it in the comments. Let's get into it. First thing that I want to preface this entire video with is that your mindset when you go into networking is what's going to matter the most. A lot of people overthink networking because, well, personally, I think of a bunch of old dusty white people in a big room trying to connect with each other and make friends in a really awkward way and maybe even sell some products and services at the end. So my association with the word networking isn't like a positive one. And if you have a similar, you know, association that's like, oh, it sounds so weird and scary and I don't want to like message out people on the internet and like network with them, don't look at it as networking. It's just to look at it as like making friends online. Like that's all there is to it. Really, you're just reaching out to people on the internet and you're hoping to make some friends online. And that's gonna, that's gonna, thinking about networking that way and thinking about how am I gonna reach out to people and keeping that information in the back of your head is what's gonna make it like way easier for you. And also, I learned this entire system from my man, Dan Ko. Huge shout out to Dan Ko for Process, because that's where I learned it from. And I just wanted to share it with you guys as well in case you are not familiar with him. Uh, but also through a perspective of an appointment setter or someone who is like a service provider looking to connect with more clients. All right, let's get into it. Step numero uno is identifying who you want to connect with. That's going to be the most important part. So as you know from some of my other videos, I shared how to find clients online and where to look for potential opportunities. If you haven't seen those videos, go check it out. But essentially, the first thing you want to do is just identify who am I going to message, right? So let's say I want to work for Tony Robbins. So I'm obviously not going to message Tony Robbins. The guy is busy running the business and so is so are most, you know, business owners of somewhat reputable online companies. They're busy running the business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find people who work with Tony or ex-business owner and I'm going to try and build relationships with them. So that can be people like other appointment setters or maybe sales managers or closers and salespeople. And I'm going to try and build relationships with them and not necessarily with the guy who runs the show because what will end up happening is people who trust me and see me for my values, for my character, they can then recommend me to like a hiring manager or a HR department or whoever's in charge of hiring, making hiring decisions in the company. And it'll be a way easier getting a job situation than, um, you know, me just like cold applying through an application that nobody really cares about. Which, by the way, most people don't. Most people prioritize, you know, relationships and other people that get recommended versus just applications. So if I just broke your dreams, Muscozy. But I also hope you, you got the lesson here. Anyway, moving on. So step number one, identify who you want to message to. Moving on to step number two. I like how the camera focuses. Moving on to step number two. Send them an inspiring message. Hopefully a compliment. It's better if it's just like a compliment. People love praise. People love getting like value and praise is a form of value. It's just like not like a physical form of value. You know, it's like more of an egotistical form of value, like praise and gifts and all that jazz. So what you want to do is after you've identified people who work in the company, is go through their recent posts on social media. So if you're applying through LinkedIn, see if they're active on LinkedIn, if they're posting something on LinkedIn, you can do the same thing with Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. The, the, the platform upon which you reside and message people does not matter. The actual process and steps matter. So when you send an inspiring compliment, it needs to be based off of something that they have posted on their wall. So don't try and like come up with some generic nonsense that's no, that no one's going to hear, all right? 
we want to do is say something like, Hey Erica, um, I found your YouTube videos and it really opened up my eyes to how you can make money online as an appointment setter. Really appreciate your perspective. I hope to see more educational content from you. Boom. You know, boom. That's it. You can copy paste it word for word. You're welcome. On the house. On the house, guys. But you get the idea. The point being is that you find something that's recent, something that the person posted or said recently on their Facebook wall or Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then you refer back to that because you actually took a second to read and look at the post and then send the message reflecting back on that post. So most people don't even do that, which is by the way, PSA for everybody out there. If you're going out and starting a conversation with, hi, hey, what's up? How is it going? Or another generic nonsense. Stop. People who are busy, who actually have lives to run and are playing an important part in the company, they do not check their messages as often as you would think. So your job is to stand out. And you're not going to stand out with a hey, because there's tens of other hey's that they receive that they do not look at. Like me, I get a bunch of DMs from people. I don't look at half of them because I don't know what the hell you are. I don't know what you're saying. So anyway, try to avoid generic stuff. If you made them sick in the past, it's okay. You know, guilty of that as well. But that will let you know there's a better way to do it. So you need to approach the whole networking thing tactfully or tactfully or whatever. English, you get what I'm saying. Moving on to step numero three. Show genuine interest. So you can share or send something that you like, or you can ask a question about, um, about them. Like I personally like to put attention off of me and onto them. Like they are the star of the show right now. In this conversation, they are the star and I want to make them feel like they're a star. So for example, if I were to message me, uh, insert the previous message that I mentioned a few minutes ago, then I can say, uh, do you like what are your plans with your YouTube channel? Are you thinking of releasing more videos? What's like what's kind of like what ideas do you have for your channel? Or it can be something like what projects are you working on in XYZ company? You guys are obviously always building something amazing, so I just want to know what the hell you guys are up to. So as you start showing genuine interest, which is step number three, so now moving on to step number four. The fourth step is you want to keep the goals that they just shared with you top of mind. So if they say something like, yeah, I'm always posting videos or yeah, we're always running like live events or we're looking for appointment setters or whatever, you can keep that idea top of mind. And so that in case you see any resources that are valuable, in your opinion, that are valuable for this person, you can always send that over to them which at this point you provided not one, but two pieces of value. The first one being the compliment and the second one being a resource. And when I say a resource, just to break it down for you guys, I mean anything like a YouTube video, a podcast, a spreadsheet, whatever, something you found on a blog or an article, like it does not matter. The point is you remembered what they're building and what they're trying to grow. And you're setting a resource that's going to be helpful for them it's a win-win. Now, there are situations where you might not have any value to share, like maybe you live under a rock or something and uh, you don't have any value or you can't even take the second to find and Google any value that you want to share with these people. In that case, you can just continue having a lively, soulful conversation in the DMs, as long as you're not sounding weird or creepy. Keep the conversation going, keep asking them about their goals, their aspirations, uh, what I always used to do, which worked wonders, is ask people, how do they get where they are, right? And I would preface it with like, it's super inspiring to see that you were able to accomplish X, Y, Z, that you're in this position in this company. You know, it's kind of like my dream to one day be in the same shoes like you. How did you get there? What was that like? And yeah, it's a loaded question. It's, it's the type of question that you would like probably get a bunch of paragraphs, but no one's going to type that. Uh, but the fact that you show your ambition to them is what is going to strike them differently. It's like, 
whoa, this person actually cares? They actually have a goal in mind. Like, that's pretty cool. Who knows, maybe if I give a little bit of my personal time, maybe one day they're gonna get to where I am today. Always works for me, guys. I don't know, I'm just saying. I'm just sharing what works for me. You do whatever you want, man. Five, optional, but recommended is you want to try to get onto a phone call with them. And before you start freaking out, like, oh my God, I'm gonna go into the, onto a phone call with a person. Isn't that so weird? Nobody does that. Pause right there. Everybody does that. When I was starting out in the online space, I would get on Zoom calls with everyone and anyone who breathed in my general direction, which is how I was able to make a lot of good friends, but also make a lot of good relationships and connections that were able to serve me later on. It is, not as weird as you think, I promise you that. That is probably the only place people like us ever get to connect with one another is over Zoom calls. So you have to keep that in mind. You have to keep the environment of these people that you're trying to reach out to in mind as you're reaching out and trying to get them on phone calls and connected and this and that and this and that. Right, so if possible, get onto a phone call. The benefits of getting onto a phone call is that over text, it's kind of like two-dimensional. People can really judge your character, your excitement, your emotions, your value over a text message, right? Versus if you get to show all of that personality of yours onto a phone call, sorry, not a phone call, onto a Zoom call, then the chances are people are gonna perceive the totality of you, right? Which is not just like a message back and forth. It's like, wow, that's a real human being, which already, puts you a little bit higher in the hierarchy, you know, of all the other DMs that they receive seeing you face to face. It already creates more like a, a deeper and a stronger connection. So you want to take advantage of that if possible. And if you do get onto a phone call, or even if you don't get onto a phone call, um, and the conversation dies, this is going to be your se step number six, is this is your chance to, again, keep providing value, keep sending them either resources or something that you find or something that like made you think about these people again that you thought is going to be valuable um so you can either send that in between uh your zoom call and conversation so like right before the zoom call uh, or something like that or right after the zoom call or if you don't ever get to go onto a zoom call um you can just send it down the line if for whatever reason conversations fizzle out you know sometimes People get awkward, there's nothing to say, and that's okay. You can always come back a few days later, don't be weird, don't be like, oh, I miss you so much, uh, mm -mm, don't do that. So just a few days later, hey, this post reminded me of you, I thought I would share it with you, there's a few pieces of value that I thought would be valuable for you, check it out. So now, by this point, you have provided not one, not two, but three pieces of value, which is great. At this point, you have built a pretty good relationship with this person, which now takes me to step number seven, which is you can do whatever the fuck you want at this point. <laughs> Just kidding. This brings me to step number seven. At this point, you can go for the ask. So yes, it does take a little bit of time, but this ensures that you're not just building you know, connections with people that are gonna fizzle out in a few days. This actually, this whole process shows you how to build like long lasting relationships with people that are gonna serve you like months and maybe years to come, which is way more powerful than just like throwing your application here and there. There's a video from a chick I saw the other day who's like a, a UX designer and she's 24 years old, so just finished college and she spends like five hours a day, three to four hours a day, three, sorry, three to five hours a day applying for jobs, like for a month. It's been a month now she's been applying for jobs. That's insane. It took me less than a month and I wasn't applying anywhere to get a job as a setter. I literally just opened Facebook. I found people who seemed to be like the leaders in the industry and then I just looked at who they were friends with, who was interacting with their posts. And I just started friending everyone and try and sneak my way into the conversation. And once people just kept recognizing me, it was really easy to slide into DMs and be like, yo, I do XYZ. Y'all need some XYZ setting appointments type 
type stuff because I can do that. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun today. Anyway, so point number seven is you can go for the ask, which if if is if you are a service provider, then that can be either being a part of a mastermind group or sharing them a little bit about your offer that you think is going to be valuable. Um, or maybe reacting to some of your posts or maybe like reposting stuff. That is, that is, that, that is if you are a service provider. Now, if you are an appointment setter, this is a really good opportunity for you to just ask, hey, are you guys possibly looking for appointment centers because I've been training for this job um, or, you know, whatever the case is, like, and I absolutely love what you're doing with this company. It would be amazing to be a part of your team. Yada, yada, yada. Again, you see how my language, like I'm trying to appeal to the person's like ego a little bit. It's like, I would love to be a part of your team. You're such a great leader. I'm really inspired by your company's mission. I know it's kind of generic. Obviously don't just copy paste my words, guys. Use a little bit of gray matter that you have in your head. But I'm sharing our concepts that you can implement for yourself if you just tweak them a little bit. So, Tweak them a little bit. <laughs> I think at this point there's many more people watching me, so I can say whatever the freak I want and people are gonna be laughing. I hope this was helpful, guys. <laughs> this is it. This is the seven step part two networking. And um forgot to mention my course is opened, um my Facebook group is open. If you want a newsletter, it's also opened, and I started to release my free yeah, I'm setting script. If you guys need it, you can check it out. It's also in the description below. If you have any other things or ideas that you want to see inside my videos, hit me up in the comment section. I look and reply to every single one of them, and I promise that I will look and reply to yours as well, if it's not creepy. Thank you. See you later. Ciao. Bye-bye.